Welcome to Microchips Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Andrew Ng, Do We Think the World is Better Off with More or Less Intelligence? Vantage Data Centers Readies for AI Demand in Southeast Asia. Non-tech Chinese firms tout orders of NVIDIA chips, winning stock boosts. AI was the buzzword of 2023. What happens in 2024? NVIDIA staffers warned CEO of threat AI would pose to minorities. Andrew Ng, Do We Think the World is Better Off with More or Less Intelligence? Financial Times. Artificial intelligence, AI, expert Andrew Ng has spoken out against overregulation of AI and highlighted the benefits of open source AI models. Ng argued that open source models are becoming increasingly competitive with proprietary models and are useful for a range of applications. He stated that regulating the core technology of AI would slow down innovation and hinder the development of various industries. Ng also expressed concern about the hyping of AI risks by some companies and individuals, stating that it is leading to unnecessary fear and the implementation of bad regulations. He called for a focus on good regulation that addresses specific risks in critical applications, such as healthcare and underwriting. Ng also discussed the need for transparency in AI systems used by social media and chatbot companies to counteract the risk of misinformation and bias. Vantage Data Centers Readies for AI Demand in Southeast Asia Nikkei Asia. Vantage Data Centers is preparing to meet rising demand for data from sophisticated AI customers in Asia, according to Raymond Tong, president of the company's Asia-Pacific business. Tong said the company's design and construction teams are starting to factor in the change in requirements for its new facilities in Kuala Lumpur, given the rapid development and adoption of generative AI. Vantage entered Asia in 2021 after acquiring two companies with facilities in Malaysia, Hong Kong, Japan and Australia. Non-tech Chinese firms tout orders of NVIDIA chips, winning stock boosts. South China Morning Post. AI was the buzzword of 2023. What happens in 2024? CNN. Goldman Sachs CIO Marco Argenti predicts that hybrid AI, which combines large foundational models and smaller, fine-tuned models, will emerge as a trend in 2024. The large foundational models have reasoning capabilities and can reach out for data, while the smaller models can run on more constrained infrastructure environments and be fine-tuned for data privacy. This hybrid model allows for better coordination and cooperation between different AI models. Argenti also predicts a shift in venture capital funding from foundational AI models to the application layer. This means that there will be more investment in business-to-business -business and vertical applications that are attached to the foundational models. Additionally, Argenti believes that the execution of AI in a safe way will be a major focus in 2024, with a strong emphasis on safety and governance. This will help alleviate fears and concerns about AI and its potential impact on society. NVIDIA staffers warned CEO of Threat AI would pose to minorities. Bloomberg. Former black employees of NVIDIA have spoken out about their frustration with the company's response to the potential dangers of AI technology, particularly in relation to bias and discrimination against minority communities. They had prepared a presentation warning CEO Jensen Huang about the dangers of AI and the need to address bias and discrimination in the technology. However, they felt that Huang did not listen to their concerns and that the company did not prioritize addressing these issues. Both employees left the company shortly after the meeting. NVIDIA has one of the poorest records when it comes to black and Hispanic representation in its workforce and has been criticized for its generative AI product's failure to account for people of color. While NVIDIA has taken steps to address bias and discrimination in AI technology since the meeting, concerns about the inclusivity and safety of AI technology remain. The lack of diversity and representation in the AI industry is seen as a major problem, with researchers warning that algorithms are likely to have blind spots without the input of underrepresented minorities. Concerns have been raised about biased facial recognition technologies used in self-driving cars and other applications, with fears that these technologies may not work properly for people of color. NVIDIA has made efforts to address these concerns, including vetting datasets for bias, releasing model cards with AI models to provide more details on their intended use and limitations, and diversifying datasets for self-driving cars. However, it remains to be seen whether these efforts will be enough to ensure the safety and inclusivity of AI systems. The lack of diversity in the tech industry as a whole has been a long-standing issue, 
and companies like NVIDIA still have a long way to go in terms of improving diversity and addressing the potential risks and biases of AI technology. Japan's Kokusai aims to build on 66% rally as China demand booms. Japan Times. Japanese chip gear maker Kokusai Electric is planning to increase its headcount in China in anticipation of a rise in demand from the country's semiconductor market in 2024. CEO Fumiyuki Kanai expects sustained investment in capacity in China and plans to expand local support teams to better serve clients. This comes as China looks to localize chip production amid U.S. barriers on chip exports to the country. Chinese companies have invested heavily in factories for legacy chips that are critical components in smartphones and electric vehicles. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.